back to our stupid reactions, the idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Oh, juice. Juice. Gum. Gum. Ten. I echo so you. Did you see juicy. that? Thank you for following us on Patreon and follow us on our official Twitter account. And today we are doing something a little different. We're gonna have almost a little conversation. The new Joker film. Ah! The trailer just came out. And you know what? And just like Game of Thrones, I'm gonna put a Starbucks cup in this frame. <laughs> um, and the if you haven't seen our trailer, Dangerous. if you haven't seen our trailer reaction, it's on our 2.0 channel. It's in the description below because uh, the new trailer came out, and that's where all of our American trailers are going. So please go over there. Uh, but I had this conversation on Twitter. And I thought it'd be an interesting video because I've had this conversation multiple times about different types of films. If the Joker film was made in India, ah, who would direct it and who would star as the Joker? And so that's, I just wanted to see if we could uh, have a little video just talking about it because I think it's interesting. Like I've done, I've talked about it on Twitter sometimes, uh, like with, I think I did it with like, Harry Potter, I think, mm. and I said who would be cast in all the roles, yeah. and so that'd be a fun one to talk about too. That but, would be a very uh, good one. Since this one's a lot of roles, the most current, and it's also a very challenging role. It's a challenging role, and this is really the first role every year here in, in the states, and you probably know this. There's always buzz about one particular performance as we approach Oscar season. Oh, yeah, that, that, and, and this is it. Oh, this is Gary Oldman was it for Darkest Hour. Yeah. Um, Daniel Day-Lewis was it for Lincoln, um, Meryl Streep's been it every year of her life. That's true. And so this is, right now, there's a lot of buzz because some of the initial people have seen some things and word is getting out on the street oh, yeah. that it's, this is it's been off but the charts. So I think, there, I mean, there's one, only one person I could think of in India that I would want to direct this film. For sure. That's, that's, yeah. I need, to be, I need this film to be gritty. It would need to be gritty and, and, and he's shown that that's what he loves to do. Right. Artistic and, and I'm sure, this is, guys, remember, we're still babies in this regard. Yes, of course. You know, know, know. I, I very well may have changed my thought and be going like this if I'd seen enough of Satyajit Ray's stuff because we haven't seen yeah. any of his stuff. But also he's not around. Exactly. So, so but they we could at least right now. we could at least say if he were alive, we know his yeah. work well enough. But we just don't know his work. Yeah. But of the directors we've seen and whose work we've seen, one hundred percent it would be. Visual or Irish. I mean, I guess it could be. Uh, I forget his name, but the director from Gangs of Wasapur, he's also a yeah. very gritty style. Yeah. Uh, and he, he gritty also, raw. He, he's very similar to Scorsese, and Scorsese very, really looked yeah, up Scorsese to him. looked up to him. Loved him. Uh, and, and all that kind of stuff. So since this is actually like an homage to Scorsese as well, this this film that they're doing, that could be an option. But I I would personally want Vishal just because I love his work. Me too. And it would have to be gritty, raw, uh, weird, yeah. edgy. Um, and I think he, Vishal, I mean, it Seven Cool Mafia. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Some of that out. Uh, uh, he's proven by his directing style that he wants to convey artistry and story and fight for that and a vision way more than he's interested in, say, a visual aesthetic. Yeah. Um, he just, he's willing to let stuff look ugly and nasty just because he wants that p point of view. And the and Joker needs to be yeah that. That's true. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's, and, I would agree. And so that, and then for the star... As the Joker, and there's quite a few I can think of. Me too, but there's one in my mind immediately that I'm like, this is who I would, I think could do it. Is it Nawaz? It's Nawaz. That's obviously the first one that came to my mind, yeah, of course. Nawaz and because he's he's weird now, and he 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 can get that strangeness that he you need yes. to play the character, and he would I think go to levels he would need to to capture that character and the subtleties you need to be able to commit to right. this role right this is a once in a lifetime role yeah um but um so that would be my first and i i, I agree and there's others that i think could do it uh i don't know that would be my first shahid and renfear come to mind i i mean i get i was about to say that i think they might be too pretty but heath is very pretty and they can, they kind of yeah but you know what you, you know, know what it is about nawaz that that heath had and also Joaquin has. Mm -hmm. um, Nawaz can convey the vulnerability that the Joker needs to have. It's true. There's a, there's a there's a point of for being who they are that most people at face value see the Joker as uh, 
psychotic sociopath. I, I'm for me, and what Heath brought to it was there's a level of vulnerability to the character, and Joaquin will do this even more. Oh I yeah, think. even more. One hundred percent. And Nawazuddin can convey that believably. So he's he's really the. I mean, I'm sure there are other ones that you guys would be saying, but the, the first prominent one he, in my mind is Nawazuddin. Yeah, saying, and then like I said, Ranveer and Shahid, I think could definitely do it because they would be similar to like. When Heath was cast as the Joker, no one thought it was a good idea. There was no not one. a single person on the planet that my, thought it was a good idea. My initial reaction, and respecting Heath as a, a solid actor, mm. I did not know the depth of the guy as an actor. Mm. And my thought was, Heath Ledger is the Joker. Yeah, there was not a person that thought he could do it. There nope. was so much backlash. Massive. And then obviously he shut everybody up, yeah, of course. Yeah, exactly. The greatest Joker of all time. One of the greatest performances, greatest performances of all time. Um, but... There's, here's a very interesting one that I thought of. This gentleman, he has the... I've got one in my mind too, and it may be the same one. He has the temperament to do it, and it would be an entirely huge stretch for him. Oh, then it's maybe not this... But I think he could do it. Um, I, I have one, and I'm, I'm... And I think... I don't think it's the same person, because you said it would be a huge stretch, but go ahead. You're fun con. Think about that. Oh, that's a very cool proposition. Think about that. <laughs> because his temperament is great. Because he, he's already, he already almost looks depressed a lot of the times. He's like, he, yeah. I mean, he's not, of course. And Irfan <laughs> uh, is a great choice. But he, he has the, the temperament and the style and the almost nonchalantness. Uh, the where I would think would be a stretch is I've never seen him do a performance anywhere near something like this. It's like no. we have Nawaz. Nawaz. Yeah, the closest he's come was McBool. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think he's a good enough actor that he could do it and he do would it, make right? it his own. Yeah, I he agree. would make it his own. I thought when um, I thought about it, I was like, why is my very, very my brain um, dying? Uh, come on, Ayushman. Uh, no, uh, Newton. Oh, oh, Rajkumar Rao. Rajkumar Rao. 100%. That was the, that Rajkumar was the one, Rao was the one I was just thinking of, of I could imagine him. Yep. Those Rajkumar would Rao. probably be my top three. Um, I don't know which position I would put them at. I mean, it would be probably Rajkumar and uh, Nawaz, one, two. Irfan just because I know they could do it. But I think Irfan would be three for me just because I think it would be so interesting. I think you'd bring something totally different that the other two, would. Uh, that the other two probably couldn't bring. 100%. And I, I, those other two are known shapeshifters. Right. Rajkumar Rao and Newton. They're right. known shapeshifters. Right. Irfan is a fantastic actor. I've never... I mean, the, the most different I've seen him was in McBull. And of course, we're new and we you know haven't seen him in a ton, of course. Exactly. Um, but I think he has the capability to be able to go oh, to those places if he 100%. was given the opportunity. 100%. Yeah. So, 100%. I know Nawaz and Rajkumar could do it. Yeah, I 100% know. I think this one would be a, a little bit of a stretch, and but I think he could do it. I agree with you. Shahid could do it. Oh, uh, yeah. 100% Shahid could do it. It'd be interesting to see where Shahid would take it. Yeah. Because I would hope Shahid would take it to places where he has never gone before. Because even though he's... Uh, you on, saw some of the characteristics that you need in Header. In Header, yeah. Because in Header, the whole, the whole thing with Hamlet is, is he, is he mentally ill or is he not mentally ill? Is he feigning mental illness or is he really going crazy? And Shakespeare didn't really make that clear. Yeah. So it's up to the actor to determine how far he wants to take that. And so, they yeah, good, good call. And you know who else I think would be um, quite interesting? And uh, she's female. To play the Joker? Yeah. That's... In all sincerity, that needs to be the next incarnation of the Joker. That would be interesting. The right? next incarnation of the Joker needs to be a woman. Uh, but... I it's, would love to see that. It's, um... Her. Sarah. Oh, yeah. From Queen? Yeah. Say her name? Kangana... Uh, is it Renau? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it also, is. Also, um, I think she could 100% do it. I, and we've seen very little of her, but I know her reputation, and I've seen some of her trailers. Yeah, you know who else I think could do it? Mm. Kalki. Kalki could definitely do it. Yeah. She could be a, she could be a very good female Joker. And Priyanka, would I be, thought it would be the third. I she would need to do a lot uh, in order to get to it. You know who I would to okay. break down the barriers to because she is Priyanka. Yes, and so that you would need to be able to break down that barrier so people don't see Priyanka. Correct. 
That's that's the biggest issue with big stars. And I would what I would you know who else I would love to mm. like if they said this person's gonna play the Joker, my insides would go. Freak yes. <laughs> Topeka. Yeah. For the same reason. Because because they would be so many people would immediately think, oh, but they're so pretty, and that's precisely why. They should. They could play the. Joker. Those two, I definitely. The, the, but that, those two are kind of similar to Ranveer and Shahid for me. Yeah, I think Kolki and Kadrin, Kad, Kajina. Yeah. Well, I, I think they could a hundred percent do it. Kind of like Nawaz and Rajkumar Rao. Yeah. I think they could a hundred percent. I mean, if if they did those the, are the obvious. If choices. they did the like the um, Joker and Harley Quinn. A hundred percent. Yeah. The, like the, the pairing of like Rajkumar and Newton. I mean, and uh, yeah. But I, I would say, uh, you know, for the pure like just another incarnation comparable to what they've done with Joaquin, I would like. I like the direction they went with Joaquin because you knew when you got Joaquin as the Joker, you were going to get something. First of all, extraordinarily good. Yeah. Because the man is a truly Oscar level gifted actor. You need an Oscar level. You need actor. an Oscar level actor who has a lot of experience. Yeah. Second you knew you were gonna get somebody who could convey the combination of the vulnerability and the sociopath. Mm -hmm. Because he, he showed you a little bit of that in Gladiator. Oh yeah, uh, I mean he's shown it in a lot of And films. most of his films, Her. most of his films are an outcast who's a little bit uh, sweethearted but can also then turn right around and rip out your intestines and eat them. Yeah. That's who, and, and he's also that weird, um, one of the things I love about Joaquin Phoenix is he reminds me a lot of Shia LaBeouf and that he will take his artistry and make it part of his life. Like, you remember when he went through this thing with his beard and he yeah. went on Letterman and it was this whole, it's almost a Sasha Baron cohen -ish where life is art and you don't know the line. Love that about him. Um, yeah, but so, I 100% yeah. I, I think that, I mean, the interesting choice to me, I think would be, the most interesting would be, uh, outside of a female, of course, uh, you're fine. He'd be, I think, he'd be one. He'd be hundred percent. I would be so interested to see where he took it. Yeah, the ones I know could a hundred percent do it would be Raj Kumar. They're the first. Yes, yeah, welcome. That's just who I think they'll get if, it you, done. if you don't want to think about it at all, just one of those two. Boy, if you want a little riskier, go Irfan. Yeah, hundred percent. All of them could do it, but these two females could do it as well. Uh, so that's just interesting. I just wanted to talk about this. I don't know and if you Kalki, enjoyed this. I would love to Kalki, see. Kalki. I think would do amazing at it. She would be my favorite choice to see a woman play the Joker. Yeah, she, and then also I think Kajina Rock could do it because um, she's amazing as well. Um, but if, I mean, either of them could play Harley Quinn amazingly. Uh, oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. But even the Joker, because I, I don't know if you ever saw it, but uh, I'm not there with. No, I wanted to so badly. She, uh, of course she could do it because she's one of the most amazing actresses of all time, but um, uh, what's her face? Blanchett. Thank you. Kate Blanchett played Bob Dylan. And it was the creepiest thing ever because it looked like Bob and sounded like Bob Dylan. Yeah. It was one of the most amazing performances. I think she won an Oscar. If not, she should have. No, she, she, she was nominated for everything. She was nominated for a SAG, Globe, and an Oscar. I don't think she won that year. But anyways. Anyway. Yeah, so I have no problem, and especially since the Joker has no origin story, so you can kind of do whatever the hell Beautiful. you want with it. Beautiful. But yeah, I don't know if you enjoyed this, but I, yeah. I just wanted to do it. If you did, let us know what other films we should do, like, I don't know, Harry Potter, Star Wars, whatever. Yeah. I like talking about this kind of stuff, just nerding out. On well, and especially since actors, we know so. there are Hollywood films like coming up soon, uh, Amir Khan's going to do Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. And that's a question we could have. If you were going to redo Forrest Gump, he's the only one I would have it. He's perfect for that. Yeah, so, yeah, so we love know. this. I love this. <laughs>